Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, y'all, it finally came in. I've got my Buck 119 Special here. And uh, I just want to do a video, y'all, showing y'all what it looks like. This is going to be the first one I've ever owned. And uh, so I'm going to start this video first showing you what kind of package it came in. It came in this uh, cardboard plastic packaging right here. And um, I think Buck could have did a better job on that for you know they could have you know probably put that knife in in a box been a little better i don't like this type packaging it looks a little cheap and you got to cut it out and you, you know you can always uh there's a chance you can you know cut your knife to handle on it but uh, that's just a little thing right there that bothers me a little bit right off the, you know first getting this knife it's a little aggravating to be honest we're trying to get it out but we got it out all right so uh Everything's good with that, I guess, now. But uh, this uh, knife right here, this has been around a long time, this particular design. I believe what I read around the early 40s, they actually came out with this knife. And uh, I, I, I didn't read a lot of history on it and stuff. I'm sure uh, it might have been, even been, you know, designed for the military or something. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, it was in the 40s, so, you know, uh, that could have been uh, part of it but uh the sheath right here it's got this uh leather sheath and uh, this particular uh sheath is made in uh mexico that's why i took it uh let me just show you right here on the inside here it's got like a plastic insert and it, and it says where it's made i wasn't sure it's gonna be china or where it's gonna be made but this particular one is showing it's made in uh, mexico but uh here's the sheath right here for it And um, here's the knife, y'all. Uh, it's got this nice, beefy, uh, I believe they call it phenolic uh, handle on it. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna be you know, some tough material. It's gonna have this aluminum uh, butt guard, bud on it and the aluminum guard right here. You can see right here, it's made in USA. And uh, it's it's pretty sharp, y'all. Right out of packaging there. So it's always good to get a you know, sharp knife ready to use. Uh, let me see here. Take a measurement here on this handle. So the handle is going to be probably about four and a quarter inches, something like that. And the overall length of the knife, let me get that for you. Overall length is going to be about 10 and a half inches, y'all. And the blade itself is going to be right at six inches in length on the blade. Let me just show y'all there the spine of the knife. Really thick air. So it's a, it's a good feeling knife, y'all. Um, I know a lot of hunters through the years probably used this knife as their uh, side companion there when they went hunting. And, uh, I can see why. Um, it's got a nice clip point blade on it. I'm not really sure. I, I'm assuming they call, I don't know what they call that. Maybe a, a blood groove. I'm not really sure what they call that, but that's the uh, it's got like a groove machined in each side of your blade. But uh, it feels good in your hand. Got a good, uh, good feel to it. It don't feel cheap, you know. That's, that's, it's, got, it's got a little weight to it. So... Uh, there it is y'all just want to show y'all that and just for comparison i got a couple more knives out here that i wanted to uh, compare this knife with uh this here is a puma boy knife it's, it's showing germany i'm not really sure if that's talking about german made 
uh, German made, you know, in Germany, or if it was uh, German steel. But uh, I've had this knife a good while, and uh, I actually had my initials right here engraved, laser etched on it when I bought it. And uh, I never used this knife, y'all, for it. Maybe one time, I can't remember. I might have uh, used it one time on a deer, but I can't remember. It's been such a long time. If, if I did, it wasn't much uh, use for this knife. Uh, I can't remember if it's cutting up the deer meat or something. But let me just show y'all them two knives right there. So they, they, they're kind of similar in some ways. This is. Uh, this uh, puma is going to have just a little bit longer blade there, as y'all can see. But uh, here's a uh, knives of Alaska camp knife. Uh, this is my main hunt knife. A lot of times I use every year. This I've had this a good while, and uh, I like I like this knife right here. Uh, it's, it's got a pretty beefy handle on this, and and uh, it's got like a plastic rubbery type feel handle it's not really rubber but it's got a just a real good grip nice checkering on it and uh it's called alaskan bush camp knife and uh i can't remember what kind of steel this is actually made out of but uh, it's always uh done a real good job and uh just show you that right there pair of them two completely different style blade come up uh, metal material let me see so this uh, new buck 119 here is showing it's got a 420 high carbon stainless steel uh, blade on it so that's what this blade is 420 high carbon stainless steel then uh let me just show you this little western l66 knife y'all have probably seen some of these knives before but i was kind of showing you a comparison between uh the buck 119 and some different knives you see that there that's gonna be a little bit shorter blade got an up you know both of them kind of got an up sweep on the clip point right there so that, that's a nice little hunt knife right there but uh, I believe I'm gonna like uh, this knife right here. Um, I've got to make Duke a uh, sheath for his buck 119, and I'll be be working on that tomorrow. And I'll bring y'all along, show y'all what that looks like when I get finished with it there. But I uh, appreciate y'all coming along uh, this video here. I just want to show you a little bit about this. Uh, new knife I got and if y'all got any comments any, any opinions about this particular knife if you've had one if you used it for you know a long time uh, leave me a comment down below tell me what you think about this knife you know, do you think it's a good knife uh, just an alright knife or is it a, a, a terrible knife you know uh, I got a feeling it's been around this long uh, it's, it's, it hasn't been around that long for no reason at all, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be a fine knife right there. And I'm uh, excited to get out, get to use it, you know. It might be a knife to uh, use when I go camping, you know. Or it could be a one to take out to the field when I go hunting. But uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna try it out there anyway. And uh, just wanted to... Uh, I've been wanting one of these for a while. I just haven't uh, went and bought one, and I found a good deal. I was looking on uh, eBay, and uh, they had had this on there, a pretty good deal, probably about twenty dollars cheaper than what they sell a lot of other places. So I decided, well, I, I I go ahead and pick it pick it up. You know, about twenty dollars, say twenty dollars. You know, a good time to go buy one, being brand new and everything. But. Uh, there you go, y'all. Uh, Buck 119 special. I appreciate y'all coming along. Appreciate y'all watching videos and commenting. 
And as always, friends, for my family years, y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.